Guten Tag, meine Freunde! Who is the best possible Bundesliga player on every single position for you to buy? I'm your boy Viva La FIFA and I will tell you everything about it. And if you want to build yourself the best possible team, but you don't have the coins in FUT23, don't worry, here is the solution. Go to U7 Buy, the biggest, best place for your FUT coins, and use the code VIVA for a very big discount. Click the link in the description and you receive the coins in a couple of minutes to build yourself a dream team. You're starting off the episode with the goalkeepers. I have selected 5 players in every single position, starting from dirty cheap and then step by step making it more expensive. For example, for the goalkeeper I go for Union Berlin goalkeeper Runo. They get Champions League football this year and one of the reasons is the Danish Dynamite goalkeeper getting a lot of clean sheets. An amazing signing for every squad builder in there. We also have Amelin, he's 84 rated, Borussia Mönchengladbach, this time from the Swiss national team, the goalkeeper. Then we have Kevin Trapp. Third or second in form, it doesn't matter, he is amazing. Normal gold card Manuel Moyer is still one of the best in the game. And for me, looking stats wise, the best is Kubel of Borussia Dortmund. They bottle it big time. Not winning the Bundesliga this year, not winning the last game against Mainz, drawing 2 2. That was a disaster for all the Borussia Dortmund fans, but. Kubel had a great season and he was rewarded with a team of the season card. We take the step to the center back position. Five players starting off with Jasko Guardiol. He's available for around, let's say, 50,000 coins or cheaper. Same can be said about Dayot Upamecano. Great players with 88 and 87 pace. Players you love to have in your squad, guaranteed. Trust me, these are players you want to be the coach of because they will get you victories easier than you can buy them on the transfer market. A new card from Union Berlin this time, it is Geraldo Becker. Once from the Youth Academy of Ajax Amsterdam to tiny teams in the Netherlands and now a Champions League star at Union Berlin. How quick can a career change? Well, you can see it with Becker. It is an amazing career so far for him. Matthijs de Ligt, a Dutchie. Becker is Suriname, but they could play, both play, could have played for the Dutch national team, but Be Becker was, a, well, a late late grown-up player, let's call it like that. The Ligt is great, but the best possible centre-back in-game, for my feeling, is Lucio. He's also the most expensive player on that position, and that completes a centre-back spot. So, enough players to, for you to choose from matching your budget. We go to another position in the defensive line, and we go to the right backs. And for the right backs, I can be quite simple. If you can get Frimpang, in any way or any form, he's one of the best players to use. For example, Moon Yi is great, but he's not as good as Frimpong, his inform card, 86 rated. Trimmel, he's good, but not as well. You know what I'm going to say. Juranovic is decent, but one of the players I could recommend you boys is inform Frimpong. He will do a great job for your squad. He will not let you down, and he's capable of giving you a lot of victories in that process. So yes, for me, Frimpong is a beauty. And team of the season, Frimpong, of course, I don't have to explain that to you boys. He is by far, by far, the best possible player on that right wing back, right back position. His team of the season card is also the most expensive one, 300k. Because he is so damn good, his price tag is still gigantic. But once again, don't worry, if you can go for normal inform Jeffrey Frimpong, you're also good to go with a decent right back. The right backs, we move to the left backs, and there we find a player that's going back to Manchester City already, and that is Jao Cancelo. He got himself a transfer in the winter, but that was not what he expected. He was decent at City, pretty good at the start last season. At Bayern, he became a bench player and the rest is history for him. Then we have Ben Sabine, a decent all-rounder, Mr. 88, you can call him like that. Look to the right-hand side of that card and you can see why I say that. We have also Guerrero and Angelino, more attacking left-backs, where Angelino is the quickest one. And just like Frimpong on the right-back position, it is without any doubts that Alfonso Davies is the best left-back. But also that comes with a big, big price. And in all honesty, is he worth it? I think the answer could be yes. Yes, he's worth it because you can get yourself a quality player that will get you a lot of easy victories. So leaving the defensive line behind us in the Bundesliga, we turn to the CDMs, the central defensive midfielders. You're looking for a good pace, good defending, good physicality, and decent passing and dribbling is also pretty nice in this stage of FIFA. So with Maximilian Arnold, you find a playmaker on the right a CDM position. With So, you find yourself a box-to-box -box CDM. With Hasebe, another playmaker, he's not as good in the shooting as he is in the passing and defending. Palacios is an all-rounder, a playmaker I love to put in my team. Joshua Kimi, also not a bad solution to go for on that CDM spot in the Bundesliga. You will not hesitate to use Joshua Kimi. Trust me, he's a gem. And he's also pretty cheap. 
for a CDM 96 rated team of the season card. So look him up on the market and you will be surprised by his pride. One of my favorite positions in the Bundesliga has to be the center midfielders. So many super cheap meta overpower players. It is unreal how good the Bundesliga is in this position especially. For example, we have Ryan Gravenberg former Ajax player of Byron. In real life, he isn't doing anything on the pitch, but in the game, he's a gem. Emre Can, 88 rated Borussia Dortmund star, is also not bad. Can you see that card? He is great. Overall, full potential. This guy is the ultimate center midfielder you can get for a bargain price. Get him and get the victories. Another one of my new favorites is Ade Jamie for a center midfielder. This man is lightning quick. 94 pace, 94 dribbling, 91 passing. Look at that. Lightning isn't quicker than Ade Jamie, and that is one of the reasons he is my personal favorite in this center midfield spot. Goretzka, Bellingham, we all know them as usual suspects, but Ade Jamie, boy, that guy is a banging player. Get him on the market if you have the coins for that. And the good thing is, he's only 70k. That's a steal. We're completing the Tridente on the midfield with the camps, as you know from this channel and the videos, of course. First the midfield and then the attacking players. And the camp position was super bad in the Bundesliga at the start. No good players to recommend. But after so many special cards, it is a Wahala. So many great players for you to choose from in the Bundesliga. Hoffmann, Müller, Brandt, Royce, and Musiala. Where Musiala is extremely expensive, but all those other players can be picked up for around, uh, starting off with 30k to 70, 80k. So that is a dream coming true. If you have a smaller budget, if you play FIFA from September on, you have millions of coins normally to spend, or at least 1 million if you just play the game and get the rewards. So with players like this being available for 50 and 60k, for at least 1 million coins maximum, you can build yourself a world-class team to season team, or a rating that is 92 average. So. Happy sh that takes us to the attacking position, starting off on the right wing position in the Bundesliga. And there you can see enough opportunities for you to go and get yourself a cheap bargain. With Daniel Malen, Serge Gnabry and Leroy Sané, you'll find pace, skills, shooting and passing in all those players. There's nothing wrong with them. It depends on who you desire more. Gnabry is Mr. 87, 87 passing, shooting and dribbling. He is great on the ball and with his finishing as well. Leroy Sané is a pace abusing player and also Daniel Malen is running quicker than his shoes can carry him sometimes. Wimir is more a complete right midfielder for example and Musa Diaby is the best but he is also 94 rated and the most expensive one but with 99 pace and 98 dribbling that guy his agility is so hard to defend it is quite logical that he is so damn expensive because trust me if you have Diaby in your team your left back will be scared and is shitting himself every single minute because if he starts running you can start the engine because you will never see him back. Then we go to the left wing position. For wingers, I always love pace, dribbling, in a combination with good shooting and good passing. So the cheapest one I can recommend is, for example, Koeman, normal gold card, or Sane, normal gold card. But if you want to get something special, Lindstrom is a great alternative option. 93 pace, 87 dribbling, 81 shooting, 80 passing, 74 physicality, not a bad option for sure. Then we also have Alfonso Davies. Yeah, he also has a left back card, but this card is cheaper, 70K. And if you want to get Alfonso Davies in your team on the left back position, it's easier to do that than to do that on the left back position. Sane once again, but this time on the left wing position. He got himself a team with the season nominee card. He didn't get the card, but the card nominee is already great. Mane, horrible in real life for Byron, but still got a 92 upgraded one to watch card. And the best one is Kingsley Coleman, 93 rated. With Kingsley Coleman in this shape, you also pay a big price, but he isn't as expensive as you might think. So look him up on the market and you might be surprised about how cheap Kingsley Coleman and the others actually are. We're going to finish off the episode with two pages full of strikers. The Bundesliga is heaven for cheap strikers. For example, Turam. 90 pace, 88 shooting, 87 dribbling, 82 passing, 85 physicality. That guy, that guy is a steal for 25k. Trust me, get him. Combine him with Rudi Völler, a legend in Germany. Combine them. They are both great to play alongside with them. Daniel Marlin, if you don't like his left wing card I just showed you, go for a striker card. His striker card might be even better. So I can recommend that guy, that guy even more as a striker than I can do recommend him on the wing position, to be honest. We also have full Kuruk and Kolo. Muani, both of them team of the season, and both of them available for 30,000 coins. That is incredible. You get Blunt, 
forced drama with Cool Moani especially. 95 pace, 90 for dribbling and 90 shooting. Where do you find that for a price under 50k? Exactly. You can shop that in the bonus league. And that takes us to the final page. I can't help it. We have the final strikers to talk about. And we know Timo Werner. We also know Adejimi and actually Mane and, and Kunk. We all know them, to be honest. But a player we don't know well. He is just a new card released. It is striker Manuel Neuer. This was always a wet dream of mine to get Manuel Neuer as a striker in FIFA Playable. And there we have him with 94 pace, 94 dribbling, 96 shooting, 87 passing, 96 physical. For me, he feels as one of the best strikers who ever lived in a football game. Because tell me who is better. Tell me what player is actually so much better than this Manuel Neuer card. Exactly. You don't have a lot of opportunities to say that. So Manuel Neuer is my new personal toy boy. <laughs> in a good way, of course. Because he scored so many goals for my team. And he's also pretty good for the prize. And if you don't have the money for him, save him. Save money for Manuel Neuer. Sell players for Manuel Neuer. It's so cool to play with a player like that. He will feel like a god. So I hope you enjoyed the video about the Bundesliga. Once see more, if you click the i button, you can see the Serie A, La Liga, Ligue 1, Premier League, and so much more on this channel. I thank you all for watching. I wish you all a fantastic day. And as you know for me, keep it cool, keep it real, and ciao for now.